So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be seeing how you can actually start writing CSS. Now, just like HTML, CSS also requires you to create its own file. Well, technically you can write CSS within the HTML document as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start off your CSS practices practicing by actually following the best practices. That is having a separate file for CSS just to keep your code neat and clean. So first things first, we're going to have our index.html file here because you know, that's how we bootstrap our applications. We need to have some sort of, let's say, hello world inside a simple h1 tag. Now what I need to do is I need to create a CSS file. So I, I am on the code damn playground. So what I can do is I can just right click here and I can say new file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write style.css. Now it's not really a convention. You have to write it style. You can write it your mehul.css or, um, you know, anything 20.css. It will just work. But you know, if you're starting off, it's good to have small names, which are relatable. So maybe styles.css or style.css, whatever you like, and we create the file. So CSS pretty much looks the same, right? Just a regular file. But the thing is, in CSS, you're not going to have these tags and everything. It would be something related to styling the page, right? Now there's a bunch of stuff in CSS like selectors, IDs, classes, um, you know, all that, all that stuff, property names, their values, all that stuff. So don't let it overwhelm you. It's pretty basic and it's pretty simple actually. So first things first, what we need to do is we need to link these two together. Now, how do we do that? Well, we have to tell somehow that this index.html, hey, you index.html file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a bunch of code here. And whenever you are loaded in the browser, just tell the browser to load the styles from this particular file, right? So you're still saying that to index.html, that index.html don't really, uh, I'm not really shipping all the styles with you. Just tell the browser to fetch this particular file. if the browser wants to style any particular element, right? Just look it up into that file. So how do you do that? Well, that's, um, that's the English way of saying that to index.html, but the code way is pretty simple and short. Thanks to the developers. What we have to do is we have to make use of another tag called link, right? So it's, it's just a, you know, just a simple tag with no, no closing. Um, what do you call it? No closing tag. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. But again, just like I said, with the attributes, you need to provide it some useful information, right? So I'm going to say that link, Hey, your file is actually the file you're looking for is styles.css. Now, because these two guys right here share a same directory, we can just simply write styles.css here, right? Um, it if it were in a folder, then you're going to maybe write folder one slash styles.css, something like that but more or less it will just work fine. So we have the styles.css now with us. How about we write something in this so that we can actually see the stuff in action. So before actually moving on to that, we have defined that this is um, the styles file, but uh, the thing is when HTML, when you're using HTML5, link can be used for a lot of things, right? It can be used for just like you see um, uh, making use of CSS, external CSS files. It can also be used for something known as prefetching resources ahead of time. It can be also used for metadata for web pages and all that complicated stuff. So long story short, this alone does not really help us, does not really help the browser in knowing what this thing is, right? Browser needs a bit of more information, just a single more information. So we do that by actually telling that this link rel, this link href represents a style sheet. Now, how do we do that? Well, we say that the relationship of this link with the browser, with this file is of style sheet. So I say that the relationship with the rel attribute is of style sheet. So essentially what I'm saying to browser that, hey browser, the relationship of this file is style sheet. So whenever you load this file, use this to style this particular web page, right? So yeah, that's that. And uh, once we are here, what I need to do 
is I'm going to go back to the styles.css and I'm going to write a piece of code which you might not understand right now but we're going to be you know making sure throughout this whole little series that eventually you do and actually in the next video itself obviously. So I'm going to write background color as orange why not right and I'm going to change the color is as um, I don't know brown right or it's it's not really the best choice so I'm gonna say white and black all right so we see that now the h1 the hello world inside the h1 has a color of white and a background of black this happens because we are writing some weird thing in a style.css file and we are linking it with the link tag right so this is basically all you need to know for this video I hope if you were able to follow along this much you are to a good start so that's all for this one. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.